Hello, Wasteland! Yes, and welcome to Gasland UK's Car of the Month competition for November 2020. The 2020 in a nutshell buggy competition. That's right, this challenge was particularly difficult, but so many of you have managed to pull it together and sum up the madness of this year in a fantastic off-road build. But before we look at everyone who entered and everyone who finished, can we just take a moment to thank the intense generosity from our sponsor, Modelmatic UK? Because, man, he has put so many amazing cars and big rigs on the line as prizes for this competition, my goodness. I mean, just looking at first and second place alone, you've got damn near 15 cars, and then you factor in third place, and, well, it is 15. I mean, looking at third place, you will receive the A-Team's 1983 GMC Vandora van. You know, one of those wonderful Hollywood classics from the Greenlight line. As well as, of course, Smokey and the Bandit's Sheriff Justice's Pontiac Le Mans. Second place, you get the same, as well as the absolutely iconic RV from Breaking Bad. Hobby exclusive 1988 Ford LTD Crown Victoria wagon, as well as SD Trucks 2019 Mac Granite Concrete Mixer. I mean, if you look at these and tell me that you don't know what to do, and you only got second or third place, man, there's something wrong. But first place, of course, gets the lion's share, a whole eight cars, eight wonderful, amazing builds to start. Everything. There's so much. There's so much that's been given this month. And we've got to thank, we've got to thank you, Modelmatic, because it really, it's sponsors like you, especially during a year like this, that just brings it all together. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And let us jump into everyone who entered and everyone who finished. We've had 44 entries this month and 35 finish. 35. So let's start with everyone who entered. We have Aaron Clark, Aaron Fulton, Andy Horton, Annalise Bebe, Ash Quirkgood, Bart Van Shake, Ben Harrison. Benjamin Pop, Bill D. Cunnigan, Braden Wachtel, Charlie Crump, Chris John, Cliff Doc Christiansen, Colin Harvard, Dan Krause, Daniel White, Flick McConnell, Frank Sossian, Frank Wad 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 Frank messaged me. How do I pronounce your name, my friend? I want to say Wad Wad, but I have no idea. Hugh McGowan. Ian Barham, Jaco Jacobs, Jacob Harris, James Dawes, James Featherston, Jay Conklin, Jonathan DeBacca, Kilgore MJ, Linus Nilsson, Massiage Matrak, Matt Andrews, Matt Reeve, Molinaro Dominique, Nick Woodruff, Paul Barnes, Paul Chapman Moss, Ricky Williams, Russell Evans, everyone's favourite Sam Wessels, Sebastian DeBays, Steve Dowell, Tobias Hutton, Wayne Thompson, Wolf de Wemp, Zach Steiner, and of course, Zippy Z Zoom. And out of those 44, 35 finished, we have Aaron Fulton, first time entering, first time finishing, Annalise Bebe, Ash Quirk Good, Bart Van Shake, Benjamin Pop, Bill D. Cunnigan, Braden Wachtel, Chris John, Cliff Doc Christiansen, Dan Kraus, Flick McConnell, Frank Sossian, Frank Wood 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 Wood, Frank, Ian Barham, Jaco Jacobs, Jacob Harris, James Dawes, James Featherston, Jay Conklin, Jonathan DeBacker, Kilgore MJ, Massiage Matrak, Matt Andrews, Matt Reeves, Molinaro Dominique, Nick Woodruff. Paul Barnes, Paul Chapman Moss, Ricky Williams, Russell Evans, Sam Wessels, Tobias Hutton, Wayne Thompson, Zach Steiner, and of course, Zippy Z Zoom. And that is everyone who entered and finished this month, boys and girls. So, without further ado, let's have a look 
at some of these cars in more detail. Now, as always, the cars that I've picked here, these aren't the best. These aren't because they're from my best friends or anything like that. This is purely cars from across the spectrum that in some way, shape or form have jumped out to me. These aren't the only ones eligible to win or anything like that. Like every single person who finished this month is eligible to win. You are all in the montage. You are all here in some way, shape or form. But as we have learned together, boys and girls, I can't talk about every single car. It just isn't feasible. So without further ado, let us start with first time entering and first time finishing the competition, Annalise Bebby's entry. So, this absolutely generic hot rod has been turned into this rather wonderful off-road monster, which sadly has been clamped by the local no-fun police. I like the uh, grenades there attached to the clamp, really. It really shows they mean business. I think what does it as a, like, brand new to the competition, jumping in for the first time entry, is the fact you've got a lot of real clashing opposite ends of the spectrum sort of elements like you look at the body of the car or what's left of it after heavy modification and you've got that wonderful white baby blue and pink patterning on there that's almost sort of cherry blossom it's got a bit of a plant like vibe to it but then surrounding that is just this filthy, rusty, grimy nastiness. Like you've got that long, insidious arm of the driver coming out of the window there. Oh man, it works really well. But then the colour, it's not just limited to the body. You've got it in all these other places. I mean, the, the clamp, I think... The grenades need a little going over and just touching up. You have to get a bit of silver on there. Maybe rust up the clamp a little bit. But then again, if it's a one-use, slap it on a car and let it explode kind of thing, maybe not. But you look at other areas like that pink backpack or that wonderful oil barrel that's been made out of the metal pencil eraser holder that you get at the top of pencils. What a fantastic idea. I am using that in my builds. Um, they, they, they just work so well, because normally we see these bright colours exclusively used as the bodies of cars, and it's so nice to see them being used for the details. And I love, I love all the little extra little... 40k bits that have been used here like the little skaven weapons on the edge of the the rope at the back but yeah as as first entries go for this competition i'd say that's really good i am always a fan of taking the front radiator off of a citroen uh 15 cv and flipping it upside down like that's really nice so yeah rock solid entry bonus points for the old toilet paper in the uh, driver's side there what more can I say? Very nice. Welcome to the wasteland, Annalise. Then we have Bart Van Shake's entry with MIA. And as as he says himself, this year is missing something, or is it just missing everything? You know, this is the perfect social distancing tool. And with a trailer that is just filled with sanitizer, you can always ensure a clean getaway. Now, this also ties in quite personally with Bar, and I think the strongest entries this month have that personal connection, rather than it just being 2020, that means coronavirus. <laughs> I think it's when, when you look at what 2020 has meant for you, that's when it really, like, the energy is put into the build, and you'll see that with these entries. Um, sadly, his, his mother passed away in July, but what can I say? I think as as builds go, this is something else. But I, I really like it. I'd, I'd say the gigantic metal cage, if not for this year, would make no sense. And I love it. I love how enormous that is. It's like if you took one of those wonderful parade floats and was to strip all the the design, all of the fluff off of the outside you'd see that on the inside. I really I really like that. There's, there's something pre, pre-apocalypse about it, like reminders of the, the world that was. Uh, the hand sanitizing trailer is just 
bizarre and brilliant. Um, well, I think it, that that's something that's a little hit or miss just because of the sheer size of the dispenser. But at the same time, yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, you you can you, you get it when you look at it. When you've lived through this year, you look at this vehicle, you understand it. It goes without saying. But I think what what's missing on this build for me is you've got all these wonderfully dark colours, but it just needs something to help break up the surface tension. Like just that beach buggy body of the vehicle, it just needs some like black lines to indicate panel lines. Although you do get beach buggies that are like just one piece fiberglass slap that on there. So I don't know, it's it's a real it's a real solid build. Well done, Pat. Then we have Benjamin Pop's entry with the Plague Doctor. And uh, it's clear for anyone to see why this is incredible. Like, it, you see the base cars he took, and one of them's rock solid, and the other one is that ugly alien car thing. <laughs> and admittedly, not much of that is put into this build. Like, a lot of it, the strength of this build is that initial base car. But... Man, this is a rock-solid buggy. The Plague Doctor mask has everyone fooled as to how that was made. Like, I, you could spend time trying to guess the material, but I can tell you right now, it is not plasticard. It is not cardboard. It is made from paper. Paper! So he cut out the Plague Doctor mask shape, unfolded, just like paper craft, and then using glue and the bicarbonate of soda trick, managed to strengthen it enough that in this case, I mean, painted, you could fool anyone. It looks like hand-beaten metal. It looks, it looks thin, but strong. That front beak just looks like it would do some serious damage. It looks like, like cut steel. It's really good. It's really well done. Like, we have a serious contender here, boys and girls. Like, I think it's fantastic. It is... We've seen cars with the enormous animal face put on them before. It's not It's not too, too new. But I've got to say, this is a rock-solid way of doing it. Like, my goodness, what a brilliant entry. And I can guarantee people are going to be doing these cars moving forwards. Then we have Braden Wachtel with Heidi's Kill Buggy. So, based off of the wonderful work of his wife, who unfortunately is wheelchair-bound, but, as she has said herself, plans on entering wheelchair races. And what can I say? If you turn up with something like this, you will annihilate the competition, my friend. Like, this is absolutely brilliant. And as I said before, it's the vehicles that really tie into what 2020 means to you that help them stand out in this competition. It's hitting that brief, not just going, oh, I don't like it. It's going, no, what does this mean to me? And I think you've done a fantastic job. The 40k parts, really well done. The pneumatic pistons on the front there man i have seen people trying to pull off that same effect by hand for years and they still can't do it right and you have done it wonderfully a fantastic entry and a build worthy of a fantastic wife so congratulations Braden! brilliant brilliant work then we have Chris John's entry, which sums up 2020 perfectly in my eyes, which is an enormous garbage truck fire, <laughs> as it is for a lot of people. My goodness. There's, there's a real anachronistic, sort of rebellious feel about this. I love the guy on top of the buggy cab. Just filling up Molotovs from all those all those booze barrels <laughs> and just throwing them around. Like there's a real party hard kind of feel to this. And I think it highlights something special in this community, which is for a lot of people, Gaslands UK and Gaslands as a whole and the, the apocalypse as a whole, it's been a real solid escape from the madness that has been this year. And that that freedom, that that crazy energy is just wonderfully summed up here 
all these details. I mean, I don't know what it is, Chris, but each month you seem to smash out another fantastic big build. And I want to see you make more of them because they're always what they're always really good. Ah, uh, brilliant, brilliant. I mean that that rusting effect on the on the garbage truck, really nicely done, really nicely done. Then we have Frank Sosian with his zombie hunting team. Now this is a tricky one because, as impressive as all of his builds are. The big question on everyone's mind is, does this count as hitting the 2020 theme? And I think a big part of it is this little band of road warriors is going around and they are catching everyone infected with that mysterious old virus and taking them back to HQ for some much needed research. Yeah, I think it's there's a, there's a certain wackiness to it that I like. And I, I, I don't know, it's it's a tough one. It's definitely a buggy, no no doubt about it. And it's got more of that bio-warfare angle with the zombie survival aspect. But it's a tricky one, it's a tricky one. But as they say, we will leave it to the judges to decide. I myself do not pick the winners, boys and girls. I think Frank's always tried to push the envelope with these big dioramas. And my friend... You don't have to build the big diorama each month that can focus all your energies just into the vehicle. It doesn't always need to be some amazingly huge thing. But no, I do like it. I do. I think you've done a really good job. The cable being pulled taut on the net as it's been launched out. That's a really nice trick. And I like the fact that all of it is removable. So you don't have to have it only as part of the diorama. There's a lot of neat little tricks here, so I think it's, it's worth people going and having a look at how Frank's put this together. Then we have Jay Conklin with the Love Buggy. Uh, what can I say? As, as the description of buggies goes, a stripped-down off-road vehicle typically based on a car. I think this is very true to form. I love the use of all the different roll cages and car innards from your collection. It really helps add a, a certain je ne sais quoi to the whole thing. <laughs> Interesting fact, je ne sais quoi is French for I do not know what. <laughs> At the end of the day, people when people struggle with a concept, it's important to communicate. And certainly for some, it's just posting whips. It's just showing your progress to help others. And it's it really highlights the love that he feels for this community. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I really like it. And I, the one thing I wish, you kept all the decals... I wish you kept that Pepsi logo on the front, or just like a bit of it, because it would have worked so well as well with the 24 on either side and on the roof. Ah, ah. But yeah, I love I love seeing builds come together. So really nicely done, Jay. Then we have Molinaro Dominique with the Wyoli Coyote clouds coronavirus and a coyote style buggy. What can I say? This is truly, truly out there. I mean, Molinaro always seems to be able to bring this light, comedic airiness to all of his builds. Like, I've yet to see him do one that is, like, really gritty and dark and heavy and doesn't have that that comedic side, you know, that, that, that fun, that, that childlike glee to it. And I hope that never goes away, Molinaro. I hope you always carry that with you in each one of your builds because this is brilliant i love the mixed use of materials the cloth going into that gas mask is just to die for the whole front assemblage of this build is just absurdly good like to line up those two goggles to to match with the driver and passenger side so you can look through and see their faces oh my goodness so much time has gone into this. A lot of love has gone into this build. And it works so nicely. I feel sorry for uh, the coyote there, but 
such is life. <laughs> Say la vie. The enormous coronavirus cell that's been chained up. I think that's that's quite nice. Uh, the the lightning coming down from the sky to smite us all. Very very well done. Oh, it's it's rock solid. Oh, just look at that face. Look at that. It's so well done. Faces on cars. We will see more faces on cars as time goes on. Now, he has asked multiple times, so yes, I'm finally caving in. We have Sam Wessel's entry. Bless you, Sam. You put your heart and soul into every build, my friends. And this is a real mixed bag. I think one thing that gets me is, do you... It, it looks like there's the wispiness that you get from a hot glue gun. Did you attach different components to the car base with a hot glue gun? Because I think that might might be causing you some difficulty there. It might be causing some of the issues you're having. The creativity is certainly up there. Like I do, I do like this. The old uh, the old pith helmet there on the on the passenger as he shoots his rifle. I think that's quite good. The the mixed skulls and bones all over it is just bizarre and and threatening, which is nice. It looks like you've made a little chicken face or something at the front. Am I the only one that can see that? It's like a little eye and a little beak. It looks like a little face. But yeah, very strange. You've come a long way, Sam. You've entered a lot of the months as well, which I'm I'm happy about. You just gotta keep going, my friend. Don't don't let up. And finally, we have Zippy Z Zoom's entry, The Mud Pig, which from his initial post was literally just a pile of bits. And as you can see, he has turned that into a rather wonderful off roading beast. I mean, these space frame bodies can be a real tricky gun to put together, but it looks like you started with a rock solid idea and just ran with it. I mean, the level of complexity that you managed to achieve with that front suspension. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. Do more of that. The engine in there looks like it's part of the build, which is super important. And overall, there's a heavy duty element to this, which I really like. The chipped metal effect on that red paint. Ah, very nicely done. I'm a sucker for hood ornaments, especially gold and bronze ones. So that's really cool. And I, I recognize those spears at the back. I, I, I like that. I like what you've done there. Very nicely done, Zippy Z Zoom. And that is it, boys and girls. That is the last car that I'll be talking about in today's video. So, as always, remember, even if I did not talk about your car... I do look at every single entry. Everyone in this community looks at the cars that you put out, the amazing standards that you guys continue to push, the bar that you continue to raise. It is truly a blazing fire of creativity that we have started, boys and girls. And what can I say? Even 11 months on, 11 months we've been doing this now, I'm still staggered by some of the cars that you guys can put out. And can I take a moment to once again thank John over at Modelmatic for the intense generosity. I mean, that is a lot of cars. That's a lot of money being put forward just to help the community, just to inspire the hearts and minds. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Who has won? Who is first? So start the drum roll. That's right. It's time to announce the winner of Gasland UK's Car of the Month competition for November 2020 is Benjamin Pop. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> That's right, Benjamin, come on down. Look at all these beautiful cars that you have won today, my friend. Yes, Ben, I don't think it's hard for anyone to see why you have taken, you have snatched this competition from so many talented hands. Your build is truly, truly out there. Like the 
it's not just the Plague Doctor mask. Even without that, you have the strong core of a build here. There are some brilliant, brilliant techniques at work using what I can only imagine is zip ties to create that wonderful ventilated system across the cab body. Oh, and we've seen we've seen people struggle so much to modify that weird alien car, but you have done brilliant, brilliant work here today, my friend. A fantastic build, groundbreaking in its creativity. I would not have guessed that that Plague Doctor mask is made of paper. That is insane. And to top it off, it looks so good. It is 2020 in a nutshell. The insanity, the madness, and that reckless optimism to go fast and live life to the fullest that we all share, boys and girls. Yes, that is why, Benjamin Pop, you have taken first prize, and you will be in the Hall of Fame at the end of this year. But I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking, who took second? Well, I can tell you right now, in second place, we have Molinaro Dominique. Yes, my friend, your incredible craftsmanship has not been overlooked this month. Fantastic, fantastic work with that gas mask, that Wyoli Coyote face that is just so prevalent in the design. I love it. I love the detail, the attention to detail in all aspects of this build. Believe me, if I had any control, you would have been my first pick. However, the choice is, as always, decided by the sponsor. And to everyone at home, in third place, we have your favorite and mine. I think he's been here since day one. We have Zippy Z Zoom and the Mud Pig. Yes, my friend, you built a car from the ground up, starting with plastic tubing and resin wires. What can I say, my friend? It doesn't get more wasteland than that. This buggy is a fantastic work of art. I love it. And it's not hard to see why the judges loved it as well. And I want to see more of your scratch-built space frame off-roaders. So, as always, thank you, Benjamin, Molinaro, and Zippy for taking part this month. Thank you for everyone who threw their hat into the ring and made an off-road 2020 survivalist vehicle. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, James, you're just showing the same cars in this video. No, I'll have you know that I had picked my 10 to put in here before even knowing who the winners were. So... As always, thank you to our sponsor, John over at Modelmatic, and thank you everyone for taking part. And as a final reminder, there is one month left until the Hall of Fame 2020 end of year video. One last chance. 12 <laughs> We've had nearly 12 months of this competition now, and the very last one is starting. So, <laughs> you guys, this is it. This is the big one. You're either in December or you're not at all. Go big or go home, my friends, because it's about to get wild. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I will see you all in the next episode.